It's time now for the latest in local sports and sports. The NBA Finals are tied 1-1 as Miami defeats Denver last night by a score of 111-108 in Denver. Tied the best of seven series 1-1. Game three set for Miami on Wednesday night. Braves have the day off. They start a three-game set tomorrow with the New York Mets at home. On Sunday, the Braves' Eddie Rosario hit a grand slam to help the Braves defeat Arizona by a score of 8-5. Braves are now at 35 wins, 24 losses, three and a half games ahead of the Miami Marlins five and a half games ahead of the New York Mets who come to Atlanta tomorrow night. Exchange Club Golf Tournament held Saturday at the Pine Forest Country Club, the big fundraiser for the Exchange Club. Here are the winners. First place in the championship flight, a score of 50, Antonio Warbe, Jeb Craven, Ryan Robertson, and Brett Malloy. Second place with a score of 54, Miles Feldman, Micah Feldman, Hunter Stuckey, and Scott Hoyle. They shot a 54. In third place with a 55, Ray Thornton, Tony Sutton, Dan Shalongo, and Ken Reddish. In the first flight, first place went to the team of Tom Smith, Brian Stevens, Josh Browning, and Tim Hutchinson. They shot a 62. Second place with a 62, Will Hurst, Chris Floyd, Jeremy Bates, and Daryl Winningham. In third place with a 65, Raymond O'Brien, Sean O'Quinn, Denny Frazier, and Mark Perry. Once again, the great fundraiser for the Exchange Club. They want to thank everyone who participated in the event this past Saturday. Recreation golf's underway. This past week, golfers competed in Waycross in 8U Boys. Colin Jern of Wayne County placed third with a score of 61. Liam Robertson shot a 66. 8U Girls Avery Jern shot 72. And 11U Boys Coulter Merriman shot 64. Parker Copeland shot 70. 11U Girls Raylan Robertson placed second with a 61. Mila Neesmith placed third with a 72. And 13U Boys Austin Carter placed second with a 51. Logan Collins shot 67. And 13U girls, Zoe O'Quinn placed fourth with a 64. And 15U boys, Lane Willis placed third with a 53. Judah Dennison also third with a 53. And Wayne County Recreation Golf in full swing this summer. District All-Star action begins this Thursday. And Wayne County has a lot of All-Star teams headed to various ballparks to compete in the district events. And 8U girls and 10U girls, those teams head to Waycross to play at the Trembling Earth Complex this Thursday. 8U and 10U boys teams head to Douglas to play up in Coffee County. And our 12U and 14U boys head to Glen County. Once again, all the tournaments begin on Thursday. Our double elimination events. Winners head to state later this month. We wish all the teams the best of luck. Run down the scoreboard for you on Friday's sportscast and update everything for you on next Monday's sportscast. Varsity Girls softball team has a summer schedule. That will begin Tuesday, June 13th. First game at 10 a.m. at the Barber Circle Softball Field. They'll take on Glen Academy. This week, the Lady Yellow Jackets have their softball camp set for June 5th through the 8th. It takes place at the Barber Circle Field. The camp for youth ages five years and up runs from 9 through to 12 noon each day. Again, that's taking place this week at the Barber Circle Softball Field. And the high school baseball program is hosting an instructional camp for kids. Dates of that June 26th to the 29th at Howard Bill Warren Field. Time 9, 30 to 12, noon each day. If you need more information, contact Coach Justin McDonald at 427-1088, extension 814. And that's going to do it for the latest in local sports.